Now let's discuss question 52. A pregnant female delivers a baby who suffers from stunted growth, mental retardation, low intelligence quotient and abnormal skin. Now these are the typical symptoms of cretinism that is due to hypothyroidism. This is the result of let's see the options low secretion of growth hormone with the low secretion of growth hormone there can be stunted growth but it has nothing to do with mental retardation then second option cancer of thyroid gland now if it is cancer of thyroid there will be hyper secretion then third one over secretion of pars distalis now this again has nothing to do with the development of the fetus Fourth option, deficiency of iodine in the diet. Now we know that due to deficiency of the iodine, thyroxine cannot be properly formed. And due to the deficiency of thyroxine, these conditions will appear. So our answer is 4. And let's move on to question number 53. In this question number 53, we have to tell what is the function of this organelle. Now this part which is shown here, that is nucleus. Yes, and this structure which is attached to the nuclear, that is endoplasmic reticulum. And over the endoplasmic reticulum, these granular structure which you can see, they are ribosome. So actually this is rough endoplasmic reticulum. It is very well known to all of you that the ribosomes, they are involved in the protein synthesis. They are protein factories. So it means RER, it is involved in the protein synthesis. So amongst these four options, now which is the correct one? The correct one is this. Third, rough endoplasmic reticulum which is involved in the protein synthesis. So it means in this case, answer is 3. So after this, now we will be discussing next question that is 54. Now question number 54. A phosphoglyceride is always made up of. Now our options are, option 1. Only an unsaturated fatty acid esterified to a glycerol to which a phosphate group is also attached. Option 2, a saturated or unsaturated fatty acid esterified to a glycerol molecule to which a phosphate group is also attached. Then our next option is a saturated or unsaturated fatty acid esterified to a phosphate group which is also attached to a glycerol molecule. And fourth option, only a saturated fatty acid esterified to a glycerol molecule to which a phosphate group is also attached. Now in this we know that in a phosphoglyceride, first of all when we use the word glyceride, that means there is a fatty acid and fatty acid will always be esterifying with the alcohol and the alcohol in this case is glycerol. So fatty acid will esterify with a glycerol and then to this glycerol there can be one more group attached and that is the phosphate group. And this fatty acid can be saturated or unsaturated and such option is only the option 2 that is a saturated or unsaturated fatty acid esterified to a glycerol which is further attached to a phosphate. So our answer is 2. So let's move on to question number 55. So now let's discuss question number 55. Now during the sewage treatment, this production of biogas, biogas is produced in the anaerobic digestion. Now, biogas, you know, this is a methane-rich fuel. Along with the methane, there is presence of carbon dioxide as well as H2S. So, let's see out of these four options, which options contain these three gases. So, that is the fourth option. It includes methane, hydrogen sulfide and carbon dioxide. It means for the question number 55, right answer is 4. So, now let's discuss question number 56 here. Now let's discuss question number 56. 
the eye of octopus and eye of cat show different patterns of a structure yet they perform similar function this is an example of now whenever it is a different pattern of a structure that means this is analogous organs so here the options are the first option homologous organs that have evolved due to divergent evolution now this cannot be the answer option 2 analogous organs that have evolved due to convergent evolution now this appears to be right but let us see the other options as well option 3 analogous organs that have evolved due to divergent evolution now analogy never leads to divergent evolution rather it leads to convergent evolution where unrelated organisms they develop same type of features fourth option homologous organs that have evolved due to convergent evolution again that is wrong because homology leads to divergent evolution not convergent so the only correct option is option 2 that is analogous organs that have evolved due to convergent evolution so our answer is 2 so after this let's move on to question number 57